हेलो फ्रेंड्स 759 डेज ऑफ वॉर पिस्को हैज सेड दैट रशिया इज एट वॉर इट ऑल स्टार्टेड एज ए स्पेशल ऑपरेशन बट द पार्टिसिपेशन ऑफ द वेस्ट टर्न्ड इट इनटू अ वॉर एडिशनली एज पर द इंफॉर्मेशन यूएस इज लाइकली टू अनाउंस अ बजट पैकेट ऑफ 250 बिलियन डॉलर टू सपोर्ट यूक्रेनियंस and the information about the regular troops from France Germany and Poland who have arrived by rail or air to Cherkasy south of Kiev and now we know about the terror attack in Moscow first from the war zone in south on Kherson front Krynki bridgehead there is partial success of Ukrainians to carry out rotation despite heavy Russian artillery On Zaporizhia front Russian army claims to destroy Nasam's air defense system which was 50 km from the front line and fight continues at Robotin Verbo sector where Russians have made some small gains in Rimivki salient after long time almost 3 weeks Russian army ground offensive started and they advanced towards west of Staromayorsky in north towards Kupians Swato direction Russian army is in process of regrouping and bringing reserves for fresh offensive operations otherwise no changes towards Liman Crimea direction Russian army advanced towards Terny and Yampolovka as far as Belgorod front is concerned it is relatively calm in east on Bakhmut front Russian army advanced towards Krasnoye in north and towards north of klishivka in southern flanks of bakhmut avdivka russian army has been advancing towards to nenko from west and northwest while they also made gains towards orlivka also towards orlivka bodichi line towards the eastern shore of durna river marinka russians fresh offensive operations took place towards krasno horivka some small gains fight for novo mykhailivka continues in the center of the establishment heavy interdiction missions by the russian military against ukrainian energy system has crippled many of its cities which has hit almost 10 regions including kiev lviv frankivsk khmelnytsky petropavlivka zaporizhia nipper river and even odisha the targets also included thermal power plant and hydraulic power plant and as a result many communication centers have been destroyed they also included decision making centers ukraine had claimed earlier that 37 out of 88 missiles were intercepted and destroyed ukrainians carried out attack on belgorod through missiles and rocket systems and other adjacent regions in terror attack in crocus city hall in moscow there were expected to be 3 to 10 terrorists few have escaped they used ied automatic weapons and caused huge damage to the establishment and 40 unarmed civilians dead the injured are more than 115 and this may rise more as the news are still percolating down sometime before the attack washington and many western countries had warned their citizens not to be part of the crowd in moscow as some terrorist attack was expected did they know this and also we know that sulevan has visited kiev was he there to approve this attack earlier we know that us had destroyed nord stream pipeline there were many reasons for this putin had won despite all the efforts by the west and still they are not recognizing his victory their so called russian free army operations in belgorod region had failed usa's effort for a peace treaty in united nations security council in palestinian land failed Russian army advancing from the east and now they want desperately to palm it off on ISIS Palestine Israel war front Hezbollah destroyed an Israeli military intelligence forces in north of Israel 
well in Gaza North IDF operation in and around Al Shifa hospital continues while Palestinian forces attacked IDF IDF also carried out ground offensive in Khan Yunis area while in West Bank and Lebanon Israel border situation is as before few countries have extended their condolences to Moscow which include Belgorod Kazakhstan Kyrgyzstan Azerbaijan Venezuela Egypt Cuba Pakistan Turkey while Germany Italy foreign ministers denounced terrorist attacks European Union too has denounced Nonetheless the NATO forces albeit in name of individual countries arriving in Ukraine and this particular incident is not likely but positively going to escalate the war what is happening in Middle East as well as in Ukraine this I have been saying from the very beginning that so called red line will be crossed and that's all thank